All right, Sketchpad Podcast, we back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. And today we're talking about Dr. Phil on Joe Rogan, talking about gender-affirming care. And we also going to touch on uh, Goofball uh, saying something as well. You know what I'm saying? So uh, we'll be back. All right, yeah, man, we back. Gosh, man, you know what it is. Look, um, like, share, subscribe, man. You know what I'm saying? If you want to donate, right there, Cash App on the screen. Thank y'all for all y'all donation. We appreciate it. Everything y'all have done for this channel. We're going to keep this thing rolling, man. Look, man, subscribers are going up. We almost at, you know what I mean, 11,700. We're trying to reach 12,000, then a million. So, hey. You can help us get there. Help us get there. But um, we're gonna listen to this this uh this uh uh guy right here. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna listen to him about gender affirming care and gender on a spectrum and all this ectrums and all this stuff. And we'll be back and then we're gonna listen to Dr. Phil. So let's listen to this goofball right here real quick. Somewhere I read, somewhere, I, I think I read that the United States was a land where we have the pursuit of happiness. Yes. Suppose no matter my chromosomes, today I feel 80% female, 20% male. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put on makeup. I'm going to do that. Um, tomorrow I might feel 80% male. I'll remove the makeup and I'll wear a muscle shirt. Why do you care? Yeah. What, 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 what business it is it of yours to require that I fulfill your inability to think of gender on a spectrum? Yeah, man. What do you think about that goofball? You want me to go first about it? Yeah, go first. All right. So this is what makes me mad about him, right? He's a scientist. World-renowned scientist, right? But when it comes to this type of stuff, he has the dumbest takes ever I ever heard. He literally is promoting delusional, people being delusional. He's promoting that. If you sit here and say, the United States, the last time I checked, the United States was somewhere where you had the right to pursuit of happiness, right? Okay, then if you're going to use that as an example, then there are people out there who like to do bad things to people and they and they take that as happiness. So you're telling me that they should be allowed to do things to people as long as it makes them happy. Because you're sitting here saying that it's okay for a person to wear makeup. And the next day they take it off. And we're something different. So you're telling me that it's okay for a person to be a man and then a woman. Right? That's what you're saying? You're saying it's okay to be a man and a woman whenever you want. So there's so there's no no boundaries. Anybody could be whatever they want at any time. So if I decided that making me wanting to be a kitty cat, get on the floor, round. As long as it makes me happy, you okay with that? <clears throat> There's people like him <clears throat> who are extremely intelligent, but extremely stupid at the same time. He's sitting here telling telling people, why do you care? Because it's influencing my kids. That's why I care, idiot. I don't want my kids to grow up thinking that they can go uh, between genders. That's a new thing that y'all started. And all kids don't don't want to. 
I don't want my kids to know about uh, switching genders for what? I want to raise my kids the way I was raised. Why do I got to raise my kids like you? So if the same argument you're making, I can make the same argument back to you. Why do you care if I'm telling you that I don't like it? Why do you care? You don't care that I care. So why do you care? It's not going to change nothing, right? But go ahead, man. Yeah. Um, now that I got just an understanding of what this guy was talking about, listen, don't nobody listen to that guy when it comes to that because ain't no way on God's green earth I'm going to allow my children to go listen to that type of crap that this guy is spitting about it's okay to bounce back and forth between a man and a woman. No, it's not okay. It's not okay. And I and speaking of children, these are the type of images and the type of behaviors that they want our kids of today to think that is okay. You know what I mean? They want them to think that it's okay and it's not. They're even putting it your kid's favorite TV show, they're inserting it in the TV show too. I seen one show, I had to shut it off. I said, you're not watching that no more. He was like, why? I was like, look, you're not watching it no more. As soon as I seen it, I just turned it off. He was like, he was like, no, dad, dad, no. I turned it off. Click. Nah, you're not watching it. So that guy, man, yeah, he's a certified goofball. He is, man. I'm, I'm, not, I, I don't even. What's his name, man? Cause I keep, I, I, I got his name at the tip of my tongue. I can't. What is his name? Bro? Goofball. That's his name. <laughs> Doctor Goofball. Man, mm -mm. his name is Neil deGrasse Tyson. That's his name. <laughs> Doctor Goofball. Everybody clowns him. People don't take him serious no more. So I damn sure ain't taking him serious after what he just spit. Because of that. You know what I'm saying? Because of that. You know what I'm saying? He even look. He didn't even look serious. He looked like he was. Uh, he looked like he was doing a skit or something like that. He's really serious, cause he said it on Ben Shapiro's show, and he said it on a bunch of other shows. He's really serious. Like, like I put it to you like this: when someone's like, when someone's as super intelligent like he is, they get a lot of respect from the community of people they surround him. But they mm -hmm. also look at him as a goofy dude who says goofy things to please one side of the politics. You know what I'm saying? You a scientist. Your whole premise is based on reality. And you're sitting here saying that it's okay for people to live in a delusional world. That's what you're basically saying. Your whole premise, you're a scientist, dog. Your premise is based on you living in reality. There's only two species. And you're trying to say gender gender is a spectrum. Gender can't be a spectrum when it's only two species, male and female. How is it? How can it be a spectrum? You could say whatever. You could say, well, I feel like this. But what it's not about what you feel is actually what is. That's what it is. Even if you don't believe in science, even if you don't believe in God, even if you don't believe in nothing, there's still only two genders, male and female. Female have kids and men get women pregnant. That's it. You can say, oh, I'm a trans man or I'm a trans woman. One of y'all are still a female and a male. No matter which way you cut it, slice it, dice it. Because if you wasn't, you wouldn't use the word trans in front of it. You would just be a woman or a man. Why do you have to use trans? You know what trans mean? Transform. What does transform mean? Transform into something different because it's not you because you're transforming into something different. I don't understand why people don't get that. You're a real man, but you have a trans in front of your name. No. You're a woman 
who wants to be a man. You could be whatever you want to be. You could want to be a man. That's cool. It's cool if you want to be a man. I grew up. I had families. I had aunts that were dykes. They wanted to be men. Wanted to be hard. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Down with the brothers. Yeah. At the end of the well, day, you know there's such thing. Well, you know there's such thing as educated stupid. That's basically yeah. what he is. But at the same time, you still get a period every month. Can't avoid that. But either way, man, look, this is going to be a part two. So we're going to come back. 